Very rarely do I have... Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin were saluted by President Barack Obama on Monday at a ceremony marking the 40th anniversary of the first time man walked on the moon. I grew up in Hawaii, as many of you know, and I still recall uh, sitting on my grandfather's shoulders when those capsules would land in the middle Pacific and they'd get brought back and uh, we'd go out and we'd pretend like they could see us as we were waving at uh, folks coming home. Now American heroes, the trio spent the day on a media tour throughout Washington, D.C. At the Newseum, they shared memories of their historic journey. Buzz Aldrin, the second man to step on the moon after Armstrong, remembers the first thing he did after exiting the lunar module. I won't tell you I peed in my pants. <laughs> In all, 12 astronauts walked on the moon during six different Apollo missions. Eugene Cernan, the last visitor to walk on the lunar surface in 1972, emphasized the importance of continued space exploration in the face of budget cuts. We need to go back to the moon. We need to learn a little bit more about what we think we know already. We need to establish bases, put new telescopes on the moon, get prepared to go to Mars, because the ultimate goal truly is to go to Mars. Unlike the Apollo missions, an expedition to Mars doesn't have overwhelming support from the American public. Polls find that only 51 percent of Americans think that the United States should send astronauts to the Red Planet. But moon exploration may be just a step towards the nearest computer for anyone on Earth. Google just launched a downloadable program that permits people to take a lunar tour, a giant leap for the armchair astronaut in us all.